Good evening. I would like to welcome you to Chipola College's annual award ceremony. It is an honor to be here with such impressive students tonight. Upon receiving your award, please enter to the, your right side of the stage and exit from the same side. At this time, we will begin the program and we will begin with the invocation given by Dr. David Hilton and the welcome by Chipola College President, Dr. Sarah Clemens, and opening remarks by Dr. Jane Roberts. Good evening. Good evening. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day and for each person that is here. Thank you for your provision. Thank you for your mercy and for your grace. Thank you for loving us unconditionally and for blessing us immeasurably. As we celebrate the accomplishments of these students, thank you for giving us the opportunity to teach them and to work with them. Thank you for the difference that they have made in each of our lives. So much time has been invested and so much hard work has been done. Tonight, awards will be presented and recognition given to these students. But most of all, we give you thanks, glory, and praise for what you've enabled them to do. Continue to protect this nation, this college, and the students we serve. Now bless our efforts and our time together tonight. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Good evening, faculty and staff, students, friends, and family. It's an honor for me to welcome you to the Chipola College 2018 Awards Ceremony. As the Chipola College president, I want you to know that Chipola is proud that we are your college, and we have great pride in you and your accomplishments. This has been a remarkable year for student performance at Chipola College. Students are winning awards in their academic discipline, they're winning awards at the state level and at the national level, and we are so proud of them. Tonight, many awards will be given not only for academic achievement, for athletics, leadership, and service. These are well-deserved, and we congratulate you. To family and friends, thank you for supporting these students while they have been here at Chipola College and for sharing this special time of recognition for them tonight. Students, this is our opportunity to congratulate you for your academic excellence and to say thank you for sharing your lives with us this past time at Chipola. Faculty and staff, thank you for a job well done. Your commitment to our students, both inside and outside the classroom, is really important to student success. And special thanks to our Student Government Association, Mrs. Nancy Johnson, for hosting tonight's program and reception, and as always, to Student Services and Dr. Roberts for the services provided to our students. So students, this is your night. Enjoy it, and again, congratulations, Dr. Roberts. Greetings from Student Affairs and the Student Government Association. Tonight we're here to recognize our students, but before we do, I would like to recognize the person that brought this all together, and I want you to know she's been up here every night about 9 o'clock trying to pull this together. It is no easy task. Uh, she has done everything from creating the programs to the reception outside. So join me in giving Nancy Johnson a hand for a job well done. Anywhere I go, people always ask me about the students at Chipola College. And these are the things they want to know. What is our population? I thought that you guys might be interested tonight in hearing some facts about our students. We have 39% of our population is made up of males, and 61% is females. Our youngest student for spring 2018 was 15 years old. Our oldest student was 82 years old. The most popular majors for our students are nursing, education, and business. When students get ready to transfer, the number one school they go to for bachelor's degrees is Chipola College. Number two, followed closely by FAMU and FSU. We really encourage our students to apply for monetary aid, 
but I thought you'd be interested in knowing that for the spring term alone, we awarded over $2.5 million in aid to our students. And the question I get asked a lot has to do with dual enrollment. For the spring term, I asked our data center to run me some numbers. I wanted to know how many students currently enrolled were dual enrollment students and how many students currently enrolled have ever taken a dual enrollment course. If you fall into that category tonight, would you stand up? If you've ever taken a dual enrollment course or you're dual enrolled now, Thank you, and the answer to that question is 53% of our students who are currently enrolled participated in the dual enrollment program. As a college, we're thankful that you trust us with the opportunity to teach your children, your spouses, your parents, your grandchildren, and your grandparents. You will find our graduates working in the halls of government, in research labs for medicine, and on the big stage in New York, and also playing professional sports. It is a great honor for Chipola to share the success of our students with you tonight. As we recognize them from academics to athletics, we are delighted that you're here to help us recognize those students. And now we will start the program with Dr. Hudson from FAMU. Good evening, everyone. Congratulations to all of the students. Um, on behalf of our president, Dr. Larry Robinson, from the highest of seven hills in Tallahassee, Florida, we bring greetings to you. I'd like to thank Dr. Roberts for aging me and asking all people who have dual enrolled at Chipola to stand. I was a dual enrollment student at Chipola College in 1987, 88, 89, and 90. So, I have an affinity for Chipola College. I am a product of Jackson County. And to show you where students can go from Chipola College, I'm currently the Vice President of Student Affairs at the Florida Agricultural and Mechanical University. So all the dreams that these students have can be accomplished through Chipola College. I have the honor tonight to recognize students for scholarships. Uh, we offer scholarships to students uh, from Chipola College based upon their GPA and transferring to Florida A&M University. Uh, we have three students who are present tonight, but we also have a couple of students who are not here who are eligible for scholarships as well. The scholarship recipients tonight, and as I call your name, if you would please come forward on stage. The first scholarship recipient is Mr. William McCrone, scholarship of $2,000 for two years. <laughs> Architecture major. Our second scholarship recipient, Stephen B. Cherry. <laughs> scholarship, $5,000 for two years, a 4.0 GPA. <laughs> Majoring in pharmacy. Our final scholarship recipient is Sarah E. Smith. 4.0 GPA, $5,000 for two years.
And I just want to say that there are three other students who've been accepted to the university, Joshua Gilmore, Christy Harris, and Shire Smith. So let's give these scholars another round of applause and have a good night. Good evening, everyone. I'm Amy Chen with Florida State University's campus in Panama City, Florida. And on behalf of our campus dean, Dr. Randy Hanna, tonight I'm honored to present nine transfer scholarship awards to students based on their outstanding academic performance at Chipola College and the academic promise that they demonstrate. So tonight, first, I will demonstrate and present our Student Success Scholarship. The Student Success Scholarship has an award amount of $1,500. Please help me in congratulating Colby Hargrove and Orion Duthit, who could not be with us here tonight. I know, it's okay. <laughs> Next is our academic scholarship. The academic scholarship has an award amount of $2,000. And please help me in congratulating Gray Basford, who could not be with us here tonight, Austin Hunter, and Brenton Hales, our academic scholarship recipients. For our next transfer scholarship awards, I'll be presenting our Dean's Choice Scholarship. The Dean's Choice Scholarship has an award amount of $3,000 annually and is also renewable for two years. Please help me in congratulating Colton Purvis, Calvin Peterson, and Trent Woodham, our Dean's Scholarship, Dean Choice Scholarship recipients. And for our final scholarship tonight, I'll be presenting our Phi Theta Kappa Scholarship. The Phi Theta Kappa Scholarship has an award amount of $3,000 annually and is also renewable for two years. Please help me in congratulating Hayden White, our Phi Theta Kappa Scholarship recipient. Congratulations to you all again. We welcome you to our awesome Seminole Nation, and as always, go Knowles. Good evening. My name is Jeff Bodart. I teach in the uh, Natural Science faculty, and it is my honor to announce the winner of the Robert E. Ringer Science Award. Um, this well, I've got some prepared remarks to say about it, and then I'll say some other words. But it says, Dr. Robert E. Ringer was a distinguished teacher of chemistry at Chipola Junior College from 1960 to 1983. The Robert E. Ringer Science Scholarship Award is presented each year to a student who has an overall grade point average of at least 3.0 who had demonstrated an interest in the physical sciences, mathematics, by taking mathematics and science courses and who, in the opinion of the selection committee, exemplifies the high standard of personal honesty and ethical behavior practiced by Dr. Ringer. What I have to say about this is that this is probably one of the more coveted awards in our science department. Um, we honor the, the winner of the award as the best, well, we consider them the best science student in many senses. Um, and it's just a pleasure to give this award. They won it also because it does also include a check. 
Uh, the winner this year, unfortunately, is not going to be able to be with us today. She's off the Phi Theta Kappa trip. I'm sure she's winning awards on the trip she's at. But um, it's Sitlali Gutierrez. She's a biochemistry major. She's technically a freshman, which is unusual that she wins this award, but she's had almost all of the, cal well, she's had all the calculus. She's in differential equations this semester, had a lot of chemistry. She's had um, my calc-based physics class, so she's done excellent in all those classes, and we would all like to, to wish her success as she finishes here next year and has plenty of time to decide what school she wants to go to. So help me to help her to hear this far away. Would Mason Young please come forward? The Freshman Honors Award in English is being presented to Mason Young. To be eligible for this award, Mason has a 4.0 in English 1101 and 1102, and his professor selected one of his essays as the most outstanding. His 1101 professor, Dr. Kurt McGinn, Mr. Kurt McGinnis, submitted his essay and said, Mason is the kind of student that any teacher would be happy to teach. So Mason, congratulations for winning the Freshman Honors Award in English. <laughs> would Savannah Chorn please come forward? The Sophomore Honors Award in English is being presented to Savannah Chorn. Savannah has all A's, a cumulative grade point average of 4.0. She has completed the most credit hours in the English department courses with the highest GPA to win this award. She's receiving her AA degree this semester, and she's an English major. So congratulations, Savannah. It's my pleasure today to present the 2018 Calculus One Award to two of our top scholars. First, Blaine Cherry, would you come to the stage? <laughs> Blaine earned the highest average in Calculus One this year and has been selected by the math faculty for the Calculus One Award. I'm very pleased with, uh, to be able to honor him with this. I also supervise Blaine in the ACE, where he's a peer tutor. He's very generous with his knowledge of Spanish, and he helps students work through detailed and complicated assignments each week. But of course, Blaine's competent and excels in many subjects. It's not unusual to see him helping somebody with calculus or chemistry one hour, and then help somebody structure a humanities paper the next. He's always willing to go the extra mile, stays after hours when he's needed, and Blaine's a very determined student. He's a pharmacy major. He's already been on stage 4.0, Dr. Hudson referred to earlier, and he'll be transferring in the fall to FAMU. He's very well respected by his classmates, his teachers, his, and uh, the administrators on our campus. So Blaine, congratulations. Good evening, I'm Stan Young and I teach uh, here at Chipola in the math department. Uh, the Calculus II award goes to Garrett McDaniel, if you'll come forward. I taught Garrett in the uh, fall semester this year and um, Garrett sat in the back of the classroom, which is proof that you don't really have to sit in the front for the teacher to notice you. Uh, you just have to do outstanding work and, and the teacher will notice you. Um, he was He's very quiet. He doesn't have much to say, but um, he's a joy to teach while you're teaching. You just look back and if Garrett gives you a nod, then you know you've at least done something well. Um, he, uh, I recognized early that I also needed to recruit him 
to our brain ball team because we needed a, a math person um, this year for the state competition. So about two or three months ago, I asked him to join and he helped also lead our brain ball team to a state championship. So he was a welcome addition. Calculus two award winner, Garrett McDaniel. And Dr. Cruz White couldn't be here tonight, so um, she actually teaches Calculus 3, and um, she asked me to give the Calculus 3 award for her tonight. And it doesn't surprise me at all to see that the Calculus uh, 3 award winner is Sawyer O'Brien. As opposed to Garrett, when I taught uh, Sawyer in Calculus 2, Sawyer sat near the front of the classroom. And uh, he was also outstanding and just a joy to teach. Always, uh, always prepared, always uh, ready, always has appropriate questions, um, and just stays on top of his work. So Calculus 3 award winner, Sawyer O'Brien. My name is David Hilton, and I am not the chemistry professor here at Chipola. But I'm still honored to present the awards for the freshman and sophomore chemistry recipients. Uh, Dr. Cipriani is our current chemistry professor. Uh, the students know her as Dr. C. And so I asked her to give me uh, some words to say about the students, and it, it's amazing the things she wrote. So I'm just going to go from my script I have prepared. And first is the Freshman General Chemistry Award. In the words of Dr. Cipriani, this award is presented to a remarkably intelligent young man who pays very close attention in class and asks excellent questions. She said, quote, I get no day off with him. He keeps me on my P's and Q's. He is very well behaved. May God bless his parents. She put here. And he's very motivated. He does a lot of problem solving on the board, even though he doesn't need the extra credit, which I absolutely love. And he shows a lot of grit and determination with respect to our challenging exams. His attendance and punctuality are excellent. He has consistently outperformed the rest of the class for the entire academic year. He has a wonderful disposition, and it has truly been a privilege to work with him. Recognition for the Outstanding Achievement in Freshman General Chemistry goes to Mr. Hunter Hutton. Okay, and now for the Sophomore Organic Chemistry Award. Again, in the words of Dr. Cipriani, this award is presented to a highly intelligent young lady whose accomplishments were recently recognized in the Chipola online newsletter. She gets, and I quote, darn near 100% on every organic chemistry exam. When the class average is, and I won't, put, I won't tell you what she said after that, she has a quiet, laid-back confidence and easygoing personality that is endearing. She is thoughtful and respectful, and again, may God bless her parents as well. When, when, there was, uh, when part of a course, her presentations were excellent. She has excellent attendance and is always punctual. She also does a great deal of problem solving on the board, again, even though the, she does not need the extra credit. An absolutely amazing student. She will be greatly missed when she leaves us. Recognition for the outstanding achievement in sophomore organic chemistry goes to Miss Jennifer Snowden.
It is truly an honor to present the Health Science Award to Emma Andam. When a student such as Emma has the highest average in each of three health science courses, two in anatomy and physiology, and one in microbiology. From among 100 students or more, Chipola College presents that particular student, Emma Andam, with the Health Science Award. Okay. Emma is recognized as outstanding in so many ways. She's a model student in her exemplary levels of critical thinking, diligence, interest, dedication, sincerity, attentiveness, and service. Thank you, Emma. Good evening. I'm Willie Spires. I'm the Dean of General Studies in the area of Social and Behavioral Sciences. And tonight I've been given the, uh, the enviable opportunity and pleasure of presenting this award to Mr. Joel McKinney. Will you come forward, please? Each year, the Social and Behavioral Sciences faculty get together and they choose a student who has amassed the most number of hours in the behavioral and social sciences area and who has a, a good GPA. And I'm proud to say tonight that Joel has uh, acquired a GPA of 3.01 and he has a total of 15 hours in the Social and Behavioral Sciences. So join me in congratulating Joel. Will Katie Detweiler please come to the stage? Katie is the recipient of the AAAS Accounting Award. This award is presented to a student who not only maintains one of the highest averages in both financial accounting and managerial accounting, but also possesses the quality of character expected of a person pursuing a career in this field of study. I'm especially excited that Katie has decided to continue her college career right here at Chipola. She's been accepted into our bachelor's program and will be pursuing her degree in accounting. Um, Katie is a dedicated student and always has a great attitude. I truly look forward to working with her over the next two years. Congratulations, Katie. I'm Sherry Planjack, and I teach accounting here at Chipola. And this award, I don't know if y'all remember, there used to be a commercial or an advertising campaign years ago um, for a rental car, and it was, we're number two, but we try harder. This student is one that didn't had a rough start with me, and I'd look at the homework, and I'd see that she'd spent like 20 hours, and I thought, man, I feel so bad. She, she didn't do well on the first exam, and so... I called her up and I said, well, you know, just keep trying. So a lot of people might have given up, but no, the next time I looked, the next week, she'd already spent 40 hours on the assignment. So by the end of the semester, she was my best student. And then she asked me if she could take, sit in on another class and if I'd give her a list of assignments just to do it. And she actually did it, which is so rare. So the accounting award goes to Ms. Connie Land.
Good evening. I'm Dave Bovin. I serve as the Dean of the School of Business and Technology. At this time, we'd like to ask Brendan Hales to come forward, please. Brendan has earned the Computer Science Associate of Arts Associate of Science Award. Computer Science and Information Systems principles serve as the backbone of almost every business activity, and Brendan has demonstrated an outstanding ability to apply computer science concepts. For example, Brendan actively works on campus to facilitate communications and information sharing between groups and organizations. Brendan will also soon begin a bachelor's degree in engineering this fall. And it's my honor to provide the Computer Science Associate of Arts Associate of Science Award to Brendan Hales. Well done. Would Scott Griffin Smith come forward, please? Griffin has earned the General Management and Bachelor's of Science Business Administration Award. Management principles apply to almost every professional environment, and Griffin has demonstrated an impressive work ethic and an ability to apply management best practices, both internal and external to the course environment. Griffin's hard work is quite evident. He'll be graduating with his Bachelor's of Science and Business Administration degree this spring. It is my honor to provide the General Management Bachelor of Science and Business Administration Award to Griffin Smith. Nice work. <laughs> Would Connie Land come back to the stage? And Tiffany McAdams, please. As a team, Connie and Tiffany have earned the Strategic Management Bachelor of Science and Business Administration Award. The competitive business environment is becoming more global every day, and Connie and Tiffany have demonstrated a keen ability to compete throughout the global marketplace. Connie and Tiffany participated and won a global business strategy simulation game. Their team demonstrated effective planning and life cycle management while competing on international business activities. Connie and Tiffany will also both be graduating with their Bachelor of Science in Business Administration degrees this spring. It is my honor to provide the Strategic Management Bachelor of Science in Business Administration Award to Connie Land and Tiffany McAdams. My name is Terrilyn Lay and I am the Biology 1 teacher and also I teach AMP2 and if you've ever heard of me, you've heard it said I am the hardest teacher on campus. That may be true, but I have students that excel anyway. Dr. Amanda Clark and I teach Bio 1 and Bio 2 for majors and it was our honor and privilege to get the chance to award this award to a student who has exhibited some of the highest standards in our biology classes, works tirelessly, is a joy to work with in both the lab and the lecture class, and I'm not sure if she made it or not, but if Miss Valerie Sims is here, congratulations. Good evening, I'm John Gardner. I'm Chase Vliegen. And we're the Automotive Technology Instructors. And we're here tonight to honor the Outstanding Student of the Year. And uh, I butchered your name up for two years, so I promise you I'm not gonna do it again. Chase, who's our Outstanding Student of the Year? Osam Eldon El Sankari. Thank you. <laughs> Come on up. <laughs> Thank you. 
Now, what qualifies a student of the year in automotive technology? Academics, attitude, and wrench skills. Now, we had students in the past that had phenomenal uh, attitude and academic and wrench skills were great. We had students with academics that were off the charts and attitude and wrench skills were great. We also had students that could turn the wrench super well. And then, you know, you had the academics and attitude was average. Now on HOSAM, you can check all three of them boxes. Unbelievable. Attitude, wrench skills, second to none, and academics with seven ASC awards, soon to be eight. You got a week left. So there's probably only two people here prouder or as proud as your family. And that's Mr. Valig and I. Congratulations, Hosam. I'm Darwin Gilmore. I serve as Dean of Workforce and Economic Development. It's uh, my honor to serve with all of these fine programs, but tonight I have the particular privilege to present the Civil Engineering Technology Award. Many people want to work in an office, but without this career cluster, there'd be no office to work in. This has to do with infrastructure, buildings, roads, bridges. It takes a lot of discipline to learn this. It's a high tech, high skill, high wage career. And uh, can I ask Blake Johnson to please come forward? Blake's parents are Chris and Andrea Johnson. He came from Sneeds High School, by way of Sneeds High School. His hobbies are hunting, fishing, and raising and training dogs. I think he's particularly favorable toward the lab breed. But his aspirations after graduating from Chipola, uh, he plans to get a bachelor degree and pursue a career in the civil engineering platform. Thank you, Blake, great job. Good evening, Mr. Stephen Gross, please come up. Mr. Stephen Gross is our correctional. <laughs> Mr. Stephen Gross is our correctional student of the year. He excelled in his high liability courses, which included firearms, defensive tactics, first aid, also in his general studies, and just one of those people that just does everything right. I'd like to ask Cameron Calloway to come to the stage, please. Cameron finished up the cosmetology program um, this past fall, and I I'd say her first semester was kind of a struggle. She had trouble using the round brush and the blow dryer at the same time. And bless her heart, every day she would ask me, and she said, Miss Page, do you think I'm going to make it? And I would tell her, Cameron, you can do anything you put your mind to. And hard work beats talent any day when talent doesn't work hard. And she did just that. She conquered that blow dryer and that round brush. And um, I think she's probably one of the most talented students that we've had exit our program. And so you can follow her on Instagram, Facebook, and go see her at Bliss Salon um, on Highway 90 next to Keith uh, Williams State Farm Office. Um, Anyway, congratulations, Cameron Calloway. Um, I would like to first invite Wade Robinson to the stage. So I had to make a deal with Wade. If he was going to get an award and be on a stage, he got to wear a costume. So a little background on Wade. 
Um, he's winning the Engineering Technology Spotlight Award tonight. Um, and he started our program, um, came out of homeschooling, and was very quiet. He said, I'm a loner, Ms. Hansen. I don't work well with others. I just want to do things by myself, get this degree, and go home. <laughs> so we brought him way out of his shell. And he has done a number of things uh, for our program, uh, including a lot of recruiting, where he often goes dressed like this. He builds these costumes himself. He, uh, we visited Safari Helicopter his freshman year, and he said, when we left there, I'm going to get a job there. That's where I want to work. So he taught himself how to 3D print and how to 3D model. He bought his own 3D printer, and he uses the one at school. And he started teaching the other students how to do 3D printing. Um, and I'm proud to announce that a couple of weeks ago, he got that job at Safari Helicopter. So congratulations, Wade. And now I'd like to call Elijah Conrad to the stage. Elijah is another one of our students who's come a long way. And although he was a little disappointed he couldn't wear a costume, I told him that his personality was, was going to outshine anything anybody else did. <laughs> um, he he uh, started, I got to know Elijah very well because his very first semester here, he took a remedial reading class. And he sat in my office every day, and we practiced vocabulary words. And he aced his English classes and his reading classes. Excellent, excellent job. Um, he's got a very exceptional personality. He's been the top um, GPA and top student in every class he's taken from me in engineering technology. Um, always willing to pitch in and help others. And uh, Elijah learned in a very difficult way how to deal with tragedy uh, when his mother fell ill and passed away last December. Um, he uh, is a role model. and. Uh, I'm going to be really sad to lose him. <laughs> um, Brett, uh, he's going to work at Rex Lumber for their corporate division, and he is going to become their first lean process engineer. So congratulations, Elijah. Good evening. My name is Stephen Stewart. I'm actually the law enforcement coordinator for Chipola. Uh, tonight I am going to recognize, please help me recognize, the outstanding student in the firefighting program for 2017-2018, Hudson Forsyth. I believe Hudson's unable to attend tonight due to an, an injury he suffered, but Again, congratulations to Hudson. Jimmy Slater, would you come to stage, please? Mr. Slater, as he's known by his classmates, um, I won't say due to his age, we're about the same age, but uh, he was in class with a much younger group of students this year, uh, and he kind of mentored them, he watched over them, and uh, I don't know how we'd have got through some of the things with those 19, 20-year-old boys without uh, Mr. Slater uh, being like a father. And some of them actually called him instead of calling me. So that was very wonderful. Jimmy has uh, <laughs> Jimmy graduated the academy top of his class, high academic, did well in the high liability topics, and has actually gone to work for the Chipley Police Department as a law enforcement officer. So congratulations, Jimmy. Good evening. My name is Curtis Jingas. I'm the wilderness instructor at Chipola College. Daniel Galvin. <laughs> <laughs> 
please come forward. <clears throat> the Outstanding Student Award for Welding is presented to the student who has excelled in all tasks and has gone above and beyond all expectations. <clears throat> Daniel has shown incredible ambition and drive while attending school full time. He also worked two separate jobs. In welding, we hold our students at the highest standards. Daniel's character, integrity, and work ethics are the reason I have the pleasure of presenting him with this award this evening. I'd like to call forward the 2017-2018 Chipola Brain Bowl team. Mm. This year's team had uh, one of our most successful campaigns ever. Um, this team won the Florida Gateway Open, the Eric Corre Open in Ocala, the Delta Burke uh, tournament in Orlando, which comprised about 33 uh, community colleges from Florida, Alabama, and Georgia. And about a month ago, uh, captured Chipola's eighth state championship. Which, which now gives Chipola the all-time record. So uh, three schools were tied with seven. Valencia College had seven. Broward College had seven. And now we stand alone uh, with eight. Um, so, uh, yeah, let's give them another hand. <laughs> uh, just this past weekend, uh, we were one of four community colleges um, that qualified to travel to Chicago to play in the four-year college championship, uh, where we went four and nine, uh, but were uh, awarded the, uh, the top community college award at the tournament for winning all our games against the other national community college teams. And let me introduce you to this year's, uh, this year's team right here standing close to me is Matthew Pelham. Next to him um, is Alex Tharp. Uh, next to him is our captain and two-time High Point Award winner at state tournament, only the second person ever to do that, probably future Hall of Famer in Brain Bowl, <laughs> Hunter Davis. Next to him is somebody I know very well, my nephew, Michael Young. And then we have, I think, is that right? Caroline Gilly. And you've already seen Garrett McDaniel, he's there. And my very able assistant coach who's been with me from the beginning, so we've kind of been a one-two punch all along, and um, Dr. Robert Dunkel. So I don't have plaques for them because, believe me, they have won plaques and trophies all year, so I didn't think they, they needed another one. But the 2017-2018 Chipola Brain Ball team. Good evening. My name is Glenda Bethel and I'm an instructor here in business and technology department at Chipola College. I'm also the sponsor or advisor for Phi Beta Lambda, which is a business organization, business or student organization that is primarily focused on business. At this time I'd like to call our PBL students to the stage so I can introduce them. As a business-oriented or business organization, Phi Beta Lambda is actually the largest student-led organization in the country with more than 200,000 members. We have a few of them at Chipola College. Our small chapter 
um, focuses on enhancing leadership skills, management skills, community service, fundraising, community service efforts like the uh, Jackson County Backpack Feeding Program for uh, children in our area, uh, Adopt a Senior for Christmas Program, um, and many other college activities like ushering here at the theater, some of our STEM events, uh, helping with Math Olympiad, things of that nature. But these students also compete. We go to state and national competitions each year. Uh, this year, we had seven students out of the eight attending win 13 top five awards, which is phenomenal for our small school. Um, you can see by the way they are dressed, this is their requirement. Um, when they do uh, travel to compete at state and national, they're required to be in professional dress code in order to be allowed in the room to compete. So this is one of the things that helps them learn some of their business skills. But not all of our students are business majors. We have several that are involved in psychology major, computer science major, accounting major. So we cover the gamut here on campus. And like Dr. Roberts mentioned earlier, uh, we have ages here on campus from 18 to 82, and we've got both of them. We've got the 18-year-old, and we don't have him on stage tonight, but we have the 82-year-old as well in our club. So tonight, I would like to recognize these students for the awards that they won at our recent state event, where we competed with, along with 300 other students at the state event, and a variety of performance events, uh, skills and production events, and objective tests. Uh, these students have spent weeks practicing, practicing their performances, studying uh, for the different subjects that they got tested on. So to my right, Hayden White. Uh, is a computer science major who is transferring to FSUPC. Y'all saw him get an award tonight for a scholarship, right, Hayden? So he's planning to move on, unfortunately. But first place in client service, second place in cybersecurity, and third place in programming concepts. Uh, who is beside you, Hayden? Sarah? Sarah. Sarah Hall. She is one of our accounting majors. And she won first place in forensic accounting along with Cammie Presley. They did a team event. Uh, third place in business ethics and third place in financial concepts. And who's beside you, Sarah? Cammie is Cammie? Cammie. Cammie Presley. Let me find Cammie Presley. So Cammie won three of her events as well. Uh, she won forensic accounting along with Sarah. She won, that was first place. What else did you win, Cammie? Sorry? Oh, yeah, first place in help desk. So we practiced with her tremendously on her help desk. And she also won in information management. And then Andrew Bazilian. Andrew, are you next to her? Andrew is a psychology major. And he won in two of his events, second place in personal finance and fourth place in information management. These students will be headed to nationals in Baltimore, Maryland this year to compete against other students. Um, usually about 2,000 students compete in that event. So we won't be competing against all of them, we'll, but we'll be competing against a good portion of them. And we appreciate, we want to thank Chipola College for helping fund that. Thank Dr. Clemens and Dr. Roberts, Stan Young for his assistance with things, and Steve Young for extra funding that we might need. So, yeah, you know it's always about the money. So we'll get to go and, uh, and compete against some of those students in Baltimore. But at this time, I'd like to recognize also Hayden White, give him one more award tonight, for his great job this year as our president. So I want to recognize his awesome talent for wrangling these students during their practices and study sessions uh, with the President's Award. My name is Charity Sakura, and I'm the co-advisor of the Chipola College Chapter of Phi Theta Kappa, which is the Honor Society for two-year colleges. Each year, state colleges are asked to nominate their top students for the Florida All-Academic Team. Out of approximately 800,000 students served in the Florida College system, this year only 134 students 
were nominated for this prestigious team. Our nominees from Chipola included Katie Everett and Anne Marie Brown. Both students made the elite first team and were recently recognized at an award ceremony in Tampa hosted by the Chancellor of the Florida College System. Additionally, Anne Marie was a Coca-Cola Silver Scholar, which is given to only 50 students nationally, and this includes a scholarship, so we're very proud of her. Both Anne Marie and Katie were unable to be here tonight because they're attending the Phi Theta Kappa Convention in St. Louis, Missouri. We're very proud of them and all of their accomplishments here at Chipola. The Charlton King Scholar Athlete Award is given to the athlete who has completed at least 45 hours. Of those 45, 12 must have been completed at Chipola and has the highest GPA on the eligibility list at the end of the fall term. This year, that award goes to Nene Sule. Nene, come on up. Now, Nana is from Abuja. She taught me how to say that. Abuja, the capital of Nigeria. And I want you to know she traveled 6,049 miles to be here tonight. She is a very dedicated student with a cumulative GPA of 3.99 and an outstanding basketball player for the Lady Indians. Her major is business, and she has signed with New Mexico State for the fall. Congratulations and Godspeed. Good evening. My name is Carolyn Gilmore, and I'm here tonight to present the Neil Sportsmanship Award. And before I present the recipient of tonight's award, I want to tell you a little bit about the Neil Sportsmanship Award. Um, it was first uh, given by my grandfather, Carl Neal. And after he passed away, my dad, Johnny Neal, gave this award. And I know some of you have heard me give this speech a couple of times. Um, this award, I can remember my daddy coming home, and he was such an admirer of students that were incredible athletes on the court or on the field, but yet also had outstanding character. Um, he believed that you couldn't just be outstanding out there on the field or on the court, that you had to be outstanding in your character and in who you were. And um, the recipient of the award tonight um, is just that. Her name is Crystal Goodman. Let me tell you a little bit about Crystal. Crystal is a sophomore member of the Chipola softball team, and she holds a 3.95 GPA, earning only one B during her time at Chipola. She's also a member of the Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society and was named to the Dean's List for both semesters of her freshman year. As a freshman, Crystal was named the NJCAA First Team All-American, FCSAA First Team All-State, First Team All-Panhandle Conference, Panhandle Conference Pitcher of the Year, and it keeps going, y'all, NFCA First Team All-South Region, and NFCA Second Team All-American. On the field, she had an overall record of 25-2, and two, a .62 ERA, and an impressive 211 strikeouts. She's continued to do that just her sophomore year as well. Um, she currently has an undefeated record, an ERA of 0.41 and 165 strikeouts. She also has been named NJCAA Pitcher of the Week and FCSAA Pitcher of the Week this season. And in the classroom, Crystal has continued to shine and has had a four point Point oh GPA this fall term. Crystal, it's an honor to present you with this award. Good evening. These next awards were voted on by the student body, 
And at this time, I would like to recognize Ms. Bonnie Smith as the Distinguished Service Award winner for administrators. I would also like to recognize Dr. Jeff Bodard as the Distinguished Service Award winner for faculty. And I would also like to recognize Ms. Angie Tyler as a Distinguished Service Award winner for other professionals. Thank you for all you do for Chipola. I'd like to ask Miss Jackie Daly to come forward, please. <clears throat> Jackie currently serves as the president of Chipola College Black Student Union, and I'd like to emphasize that the Black Student Union is open to every student who attends Chipola College. It doesn't matter about the race or the ethnic background or anything of that nature. Every student is certainly welcome to, to join and participate. Uh, the, the Black Student Union primarily is a service organization. We have partnered with many organizations to sponsor many different programs, ranging from health initiative programs to, to conducting uh, HIV testing to blood pressure and blood glucose level check, just a number of those kinds of activities. In addition to that, we've done things like going to the nursing home and read to a lot of the elderly people who were confined there. We've gone to the elementary schools and did a reading program, so it's certainly a service organization. And, I like, and Jackie reminded me of a quote that I once heard that uh, confidence is a plant that grows very slowly, but from it flowers emerges a leader. So she certainly epitomized excellent leadership skills and she's well respected by her peers and, and, and faculty and staff here at this college. So it's my pleasure in presenting this leadership award to Ms. Jackie Dudley. Chipola College's honors program, its primary goal is to graduate citizen scholars who know the value of putting knowledge to work through service for others. They understand that they'll also learn and benefit through volunteering in their communities. As a matter of fact, what we used to call volunteering is called service learning, and many programs require that you have hours in that to even apply for programs at the university. Every year, Chipola students bond with other students uh, on campus and local communities through self-directed community engagement projects. They have faculty-led field trips, course-based service projects, and they do this through many organizations. We have PBL and Phi Theta Kappa and BSU, and uh, many of the same students are in all of those programs. That's the great thing about being at Chipola College. You can do a lot of things while you're here. But the honors commitment to engagement goes beyond volunteering. Students are asked to participate in critical learning opportunities while they work alongside members of communities that they serve. And they have an opportunity to think about the value of the service that they're providing in their communities and the complexities. And they get to network with some of the leaders um, that may, they may not have gotten to know otherwise. But Sawyer O'Brien is the embodiment of a true citizen scholar. Sawyer, you'll come forward. I tell you a lot about Sawyer. He probably sees way too much of me. He works in the lab. He's in the honors program as well. But Sawyer knows a lot about responsibility. And you know, there, there's the famous quote that with knowledge comes great responsibility. I don't know if that was Voltaire, uh, Spider-Man, and Sheldon off Big Bang. All three of those have used that quote. But uh, Sawyer understands how important it is to, to help others and, and use what you know, but he's brilliant. 
4.0, but he's humble, he's kind, he's encouraging to others. And students are drawn to him because it's easy to work with him. Uh, just today, you know, Sawyer was working on the board with a college algebra student that couldn't come during a time we had a review set up. And in between classes, I was trying to help a student in um, pre-calculus and had to leave for class. I didn't have to ask. Sawyer said, I'll be back in five minutes. Just wait. And so he ran out, grabbed the sandwich, came right back uh, to help. But that's not an unusual sight. Uh, he's organized a trip this semester. First time we've done this for our pre-engineering majors. We took a group to FSU's campus uh, in Tallahassee and let them tour. And it wasn't just for the honors programs, it's for all students. We're a very inclusive organization, but Sawyer took care of that. All I had to do was show up. In the past few weeks, um, he's helped with the Ronald McDonald fundraiser, volunteered at the Math Olympiad. He was there at the Science Day with many of the others. So I'm very proud to present Sawyer with the 2018 Honors Program Citizen Scholar Award. Would Ben Bridges please come to the stage? Ben has earned the National Leadership and Business Award. Leadership is a key skill for effective managers, and Ben continuously demonstrates leadership qualities both within and outside the classroom. In the classroom environment, Ben demonstrates strong leadership qualities by always arriving at class prepared and assisting fellow students with group activities. Ben is also actively working with fellow students to enhance a new social media application for our community. Ben is pursuing our Bachelor of Science of Business Administration and Information Systems degree. It is my honor to provide the National Leadership and Business Award to Ben Bridges. Well done. Brennan, can you come up, Brennan Hales? As sponsor of the Science Club, every year I give an award to the Science Club president uh, to thank them for helping me to get done with everything and for wrangling up all the, the Science Club members and making them do what they need to do. Um, Brendan has done a good job. We've, we've had a seminar just recently. We did Science Day not long ago and some fundraisers. Uh, he plans on going into mechanical engineering with, engineering with a robotics interest at USF in Tampa. And uh, I'd like to take this opportunity also, I see some of you out there, to thank all the members of the Science Club uh, for helping pull off all the things that we've done this year. So give me a, uh, help me give them all a round of applause. Would Abby Rushing come up, please? Abby is my SJ president this year, and she's been very dependable. Some of the activities that we do school-wide are fall festivals, spring frolics, homecoming activities, blood drives, and night socials. She was always helping with all of those activities, helping get organized. She also works for me in my office, so I really don't know what I'd do without Abby, so I really appreciate everything she's done this year. And our new incoming president is Ansley Walters. She was voted on by the students at our Spring Frolics event, which was just a couple of weeks ago. So she will represent the student body this coming up year, and I look forward to working with Ansley. And that was our last award. So let me thank a few people before you go home. First of all, I'd like to thank Dr. Jane Roberts. She's the Vice President of Student Affairs. She's um, always helped me for many years. She's been 
there for me to just talk to and guide me through different activities and anything I've asked. And she's always had an open ear and welcomed me into her office, and I appreciate that. And I'm really going to miss her because she's going to be retiring in July this summer. So I know a lot of you know Dr. Roberts, and she's probably done a lot for you and your family. And I know that we would all like to give her a round of applause. As I said, Abby helps me in the office, and I appreciate everything she's done this week. Eric Dove is recording this um, ceremony, and it will be, will it view on what, Brian? On YouTube and CCTV, which is Comcast, is that right? So you can watch this ceremony again if you'd like to. And Connie Smith is in the back. She's helped me set up the stage and done the lighting and the sound and the music for me. Brian Craven over here, Dr. Craven, has taken pictures, which um, I'm sure they'll be in the newspaper, the area newspapers. And Tina Stevens works in our cafeteria here at the college. She was responsible for doing the food arrangements for me, and I really appreciate that. Um, thank you to the students, family, and family and friends for coming tonight. This concludes our program, and I would like to again congratulate all the students. Thank you, and good night.